is what you get for being bad at your job. <clears throat> Didn't mean to set you down. Anyways, hello everybody, XP Gamer here. Welcome back to more Super Paper Mario. Last time we made our way back into the underwear, I believe. After, well, just getting out of it. We made our way back to Love Bee and her mother, and we found our new quest, which is to take Love Bee up to the over there where Gran Bee awaits. We reunited with Bowser and also found Luigi, however, Peach is still missing. Oh. But anyways, now we're gonna head through this door and hopefully get closer to Peach and the over there. I did have a small break between recordings. So, well, a few days. Because of school and I had my friends over over the weekend and stuff, but, uh, let's go. Now that we have Bowser, we can light up torches, making it quite a bit easier to see in here. We also have Dry Bones, who we can kill. Why did that do 24 damage? Oh, because I guess Dry Bones are weak against fire now? Isn't it normally the other way around? But, I don't know. I guess fire does double damage to him or something. We're climbing up here. Let me get carry real quick, actually. That way, not only does it speed up the process, but I can kill you. Or completely fall. That also works. There we go. I hear the booze. There we go. Why am I dealing double damage, everyone? Even though Bowser has, like, only 12 damage. Oh, shoot. There we go. Can I find another torch? Please. Do not fall off. Now we have another door. Let me adjust my center bar real quick. All right. Looks like the door guy, door guy the first from earlier. Halt! What's this then? Travelers have come. <clears throat> now, Queen Jadies demands I guard this door, folks, and door guy the second. Doggo. Look, I apologize for the intrusion, but I gotta run a quick security check here. I got a few questions to answer them all correctly, and I'll wave you on through. Activate screen. Alright, question one. I'm just trying to not make noise with my can of food. It's not food. Closely at the objects on screen, okay, folks? Answer me this. How many red objects were there? The read. Hmm. Sorry, folks, but I'm not going to tell you if you're right or not. Right or not just yet. But you do. Watch that screen now. How many triangles were there, folks? Two. Question three. Eyes at the screen, folks. <laughs> Blue, red, or schmorange. Couldn't even just put yellow, just schmorange. Now, next question. Off the top of your head, what number question is this? A billion. This is the last question. Look closely at the screen. What shape was the most plentiful, folks? Triangles, there were four of them. Let me just analyze your responses real quick.
Ooh, uh, perfect, amazing. I'm impressed. Your brain ages must be very young, folks. Oh, with brains that young, you must be good people. Head on it. So young, young people are automatically good. I don't think it works that way. Here we have another locked door, and we have a arch door. And another save block. These are the three hags based on the... I forget what they're called. The Fates, I think? From Greek mythology or whatever. <laughs> well, where are you headed, youngin? You have free time, right? How about you do all Hagness a favor? Hey, you know, I heard the youngins these days don't respect their elders. <laughs> Why, back in my day, back in my day. Come to think of it, I gave my elders nothing but grief in my day. Guess we really do reap what we sow. Well, life kind of makes sense now. And I guess I never pay much mind to what youngins say either, do I now? But I guess it is no surprise that they ignore me. <clears throat> I get lost. Shoot! <laughs> I'm bad at doing this stuff. And where are you headed, young man? Agatha wants to know. By the way, these guys' names are Hagnes on the left, Hagatha, the one I'm talking to, and on the right is Hagra, I believe. You seek what, a puny heart? I know not what that is, but it sounds serious. Yes, and I hate to be a bother, but I have a small problem, you see. And listen carefully here. There is a show I really want to watch on Undervision tomorrow night. So I set my recorder to tape it automatically so I would not forget, yes? It has to be high quality, too. Not that quick stuff. Such awful image quality. In any case, I must be sure the bone the bone ball game didn't go into extras and delay it. I asked a D-man to check on the recording. Could you ask him about the game for me? Hey, youngsters these days don't respect their elders. No, they don't. Why, back in my day, we used to do nice things for the elderly. Yes. When did times change so? This younger generation such entitled such entitled brats. You know what I blame? The cellular telephone devices. Everything is too convenient. In my day, we had to work hard all the time. Yes, rain or shine. But do folks remember those days? No, they just flit about going la di da di da I want to go la di da too. It's unfair. I want to chill. I want to hang out. Now, what were we talking about? Oh, yes, we were talking about how you are a shirker. Hit the road, you lazy boy. I think I'll ask one of those nice shadies instead. Well then, now the reason I've been denying these guys, or girls, isn't just because of their funny dialogue, but because these two are completely worthless. You do what they say, one of them simply says thank you, and one of them just gives you a tip on something later on, which I was stupid and forgot, so we can't even do what she says. She gives you a nice tip on getting through something easier if you have a certain thing in the game, but I don't have it yet. This is the one that act you actually need. I am Hagra, yes, one of the ancient th sisters three, the underwear croons. Mm, young one, aren't you? And to where are you headed, young man? You seek the pure heart, so you desire an audience with Granby? Sounds serious. Well, you are not the only soul here with a problem, no, for I have one as well. Yes, I lent a certain book to a certain demon. Or demon, you see, and now I need it back. Could you find him and get it back for me, you strapping young thing? Good, yes, good. Allow me to send you to where the D-man in question is. And thanks for your help, yes. Hagra Kadagra. Now, if you decline Hagra, the only real difference... Well, first off, we're back pretty much where we started. Yeah, we, we're starting at the beginning of the chapter and we have to make our way back again. But, um, if you were to decline Hagra, she would pretty much say the same thing as the green one, except, um, she would say, uh, she would blame it on video games and not cellular phones. Anyway, we got a diet book, a book about slimming down. Do I look like I need a diet? I don't know who's saying that. Me? The narrator? I don't know. Gotta say, that weight loss plan seems kind of dubious. Yeah, probably a fad. But hey, thank that hag for me anyway, okay? So now we just make our way all the way back. 
gonna swap back to Bowser. Because fire breath. But I wanna speed things up. I don't wanna use these stupid thingy things. There we go. Where's that boo? I want to kill you. Where'd it go? Boo. 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 Are you kidding me? Boo. There we go. Okay. So we're relatively close to our next level up. Not as close as we could be, but kind of close. Not what I meant to do. All right, we're back where we started the episode. have to make our way all the way back up and the other two um hags i believe the first one we talked to just makes you uh listen to her rant about her social life when she was a kid or something and then the green one makes you do something like this except i think she doesn't make you go back as far i think you just have to get something from the d-man in the previous room that we were just in so you don't have to go back as far for her, but you still have to backtrack. I can't jump on you from there. And it's making me upset. You're gonna be smart and actually light the torches as you go. Yet still do that. And I did not see you here the first time. I knew there was a secret in this room, I just forgot where. Is this money? Uh, what? Did it legitimately just disappear on me? I wanted money. Just get in the pipe, Mario. I do not remember that happening. I remembered a secret being here. I didn't remember money just flat out disappearing on you. Okay, so 12 actually isn't enough to kill them. So, for that reason, I'm going to switch back to Bowser. Also, heal up. Sure. Oh, wait, we're here. So we're back here. Now you can go give that book to the hag and hopefully get the key to go forward. Did you get the book back, young man? I like how Bowser's hand was like going forward, like pointing sort of. I don't know what you would call that gesture, but no, this is it. Yes, yes. See, I'm getting a little punchy in my old age. Thought I might try this no-tummy mummy diet to try and get back into shape. I don't think mummies are necessarily in shape, but whatever. And for that, we get a key. What the heck? How did she, like, scuttle back like that? That was really weird. I don't know if that always happens, or if it just happens if she's in the wrong place or what. But either way, that was really weird. And there goes Lovely. Oh, she's right here. Okay, never mind, not anymore. Right, now we need Ouija, good old Ouija. I haven't used him this episode yet. Ouija, you're too slippery, okay? You're too slippery for your own good. I don't want to swap. 
squad. To Bowser real quick. Yeah, that's what I was waiting on. Or is it you who... No, you both take damage to fire, okay? You just don't have as much defense. Hang on, let me see something. Nope, nothing else over there. Alright, now we swap back to the Ouija. Wait for that. Swap to Mario. <laughs> Their door guy. Oh no, travelers have come. Ha! Oh, Queen Jadies demands I guard this door, people. I am Door Guy the Third. I gotta take a sec and see if you folks are worthy to pass through. Can I get a little under chomp? If you folks are worthy of passing through, you should be able to beat this guy. So if you want to head on through, you gotta fight. Ready? Go! Under Trump attacks! What will you do? I love this. Look at this. It's literally like RPG. What do we have? Let's use a POW block. Let's see what POW block does. Mario uses a POW block. Red Under Trump takes 11 damage. Blue Under Trump takes 11 damage. Yellow under chomp takes 11 damage. Red under chomp gathers strength. Blue under chomp breathes blue fire. Mario takes 3 damage. Yellow under chomp attacks. Mario takes 3 damage. So this is where the RPG uh, part of this game comes in. We have technique, which is flip for Mario. And obviously you can switch characters for different techniques. Pixel. What can we use? Boomer. Red. Take that, enemy. Mario throws Boomer. Miss. The attack is a failure. Red under chomp breathes crimson fire. Mario takes three damage. Blue under chomp attacks. Mario dodges like a pro. Yellow under chomp gathers strength. Right, let's not die this time. And yellow's gathering strength, so throw it at him. Eight damage. Defeated yellow under chomp. I don't know exactly how many how much HP these guys have. Oh, dodge like a pro. And um you can actually level up during this um during this fight. I don't remember exactly how it works. It's never happened to me directly, but I've seen what it does. And yeah, it, it, I think it has like a special text box for it and everything. You defeated the Underchomp. Mario receives 6,000 points. Hey, check you folks out. You beat the Underchomp. Good work. Head on in. So, that was really weird. Um, I really do like that, though, how there's just that random true RPG battle in the middle of nowhere. Doesn't make sense, but I still like it. I really like these uh, hanging off the edge or, or hanging off the ceiling in 3D. It's really cool. And here we are. End of chapter. Our heroes have found their way out of the dark and confusion of the underwear. Our friends now saw the sun shining brightly against the beautiful blue sky. This was the sky paradise, Granby. This was the sky paradise Granby called home, a place of joy called the Over There. Somewhere above the never-ending layers of clouds waited Granby himself. Mario and his friends began to make their way up that fluffy road to above. 
Chapter 7-3, The Forbidden Apple. Also, I didn't mention it, but uh, the undertone is actually based off of Kerberos, or however it's pronounced, which was a three-headed dog that, I believe, I don't know exactly what its role was in Greek mythology and stuff, but it was a three-headed dog, and that's what it's based off of. Ah, me, blue skies again. I forget what your voice is like, because I haven't played this game in a few days. If we continue upward, we'll soon be in the over there. Let us away. Yes, that sounds well and good, but we have, but we have yet to find Peach. I'm so worried. Pray, I would understand this. Is Yon Peach the lady friend of Mario? Well, um, oh, verily. But the damsel looms large in his regard. Is this not so? A one-sided crush, then, mayhap. Ah, me, enough idle blather. I shall run ahead, so keep it up if thou canst. If thou climbest too slowly, the sun will set, so shake at the leg. Here we are at the over there stair. Stair one. This level can be sort of like a maze in disguise. It's mainly just going upwards, but you, there is so much stuff to miss. You can fall down. There's like 15 rooms worth of stairs, if not 20. I actually forget exactly how many rooms worth of stairs there are, but it's really large. You can easily get lost. I suggest flipping the 3D every now and then to find anything you can, and also miss mushrooms. I thought that was a goner. So yeah, we're just climbing up. And it's going to take a while, I'll tell you that right now. We have to swap partners now. And we have to be doing that a lot. Swap between Luigi, Mario. I believe Bowser's needed every now and then. And then that happens. <laughs> She's really slippery. Okay, so I actually don't have to get off carry to a super jump. We have some fuzzy beetles here. Those are the main enemies that we'll be seeing around. And we have a cloud who bounces you extremely high. However, I do not want to miss too much, so I'm going to fly back down and see what's on these clouds. Okay, so that's a slow one. Good, that's much better than the fast in my opinion. Yet it's not treating me very good right now. Come on! It seems slower than usual. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems slower. Luigi, you were too slippery. Also, your attack just went up by one, so. we aren't missing anything because you can miss a lot and some things are actually required so I don't know exactly where these things are I forget like their exact location but I'm searching everywhere because you can miss stuff I'm just saying I don't think there's anything vital for a good room or two, but just just make sure you aren't missing anything and you're exploring thoroughly. Is there really nothing here? No point of this? Once again, just making sure. Here ended stair one. Out of like 15. 
That's just gonna say stair two. These still here normally? Yes, they are. Okay, you are. The speed is not going to help. This is so bad. <laughs> I will definitely take that, however. Dang it. This is really ridiculous. Oh, whatever, we made it out alive. And we need Luigi again. That's not Luigi. Okay, we have a save block here. Actually, I don't think there are 15 rooms. I think there are at least like... I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like now that I'm thinking about it, 15 seems rather absurd. But who knows, maybe that's just me hoping that this doesn't go on for as long as I think. Making sure there's nothing down here. So I remember there's one cloud that pushes you back, like right through something that's needed. And I just don't want that happening to me. Ooh, I, hello. I remember you from the original Paper Mario. Those guys are Tough Puffs, I believe their name is. Not 100% sure about that, but something like that. Something along those lines. Good time to switch to Mario. Robus, which is, I'm assuming, the red ones. There's Jobuses, Robuses, and probably something else. I think there's also gray ones. There's like purple, red, and then I believe there's also a gray species of them. That could have been bad. Alrighty. So we have to take the cloud. Hello there, random Huff Puff, like in the middle of nowhere. Just standing off to the edge. Okay, hello. You guys are quite powerful, actually. There ought to be nothing down there. Probably gonna regret not checking there. That's gonna be the one area that has a secret. Just because of my luck, you know. Right, here end is stair two. Yeah, I don't think there are that many rooms, but like, see these numbers, how it says like 31 in the clouds? I think there are just like around a hundred of those, so. Not too many rooms necessarily, but 